Now, the Ministry of Education is conducting an investigation into a video purported to be of free SHS ambassadors campaigning in senior high schools. The video, which has gone viral on social media platforms, caused the opposition NDC to issue a statement. Now, in that video, the gentleman who is clad in a t-shirt with the inscription free SHS ambassador, boldly embossed on it, could be heard indoctrinating a gathering of SHS students to campaign to their colleagues and parents to vote for President Ikufuado in the 2020 general elections. Let's first take a look at the video. Some of you will register next year so that you can vote this year. The only way you can maintain it so that you can continue out to form trade and complete is by advising your seniors, by advising your parents, advising your brothers, and then your sisters who are in the house, who can do it. Advise them, please, tell them, please, I want to complete secondary school. So maintain secondary education, maintain free SHS. This is the only way you can maintain it, by advising them, crying to their, your parents, crying to your brothers and sisters, Tell them that when they are going to go, they should think about you. Tell them that they should think about you first. That's the more reason why I am here. Your education is paramount. Your education is paramount. That's why the ambassadors. Now, the opposition, National Democratic Congress, has alleged that the government is using subterfuge to campaign in senior high schools across the country. According to the biggest opposition party, persons who brand themselves as ambassadors for the free senior high school policy go to the school purposely to campaign for the government with the 2020 general elections looming. But in a statement issued on Thursday, the GES says it is conducting investigations to ascertain facts around the issue. Let's read that statement real quick. We have it here and it says under the heading purported video of free SHS ambassadors campaign in senior high schools. The attention of the Ministry of Education has been drawn to a video circulating on social media purporting to be of a person carrying himself as a free SHS ambassador and addressing SHS students. The Ministry has also taken notice of a statement by the NDC addressing this video. The Ministry wishes to state emphatically that government has not appointed or mandated any person or persons as free SHS ambassadors to go around senior high school campuses in this country to campaign for the government of President Ikufo Adro. The ministry is conducting investigations to ascertain the facts surrounding the video circulating on social media and other related issues. And that is signed uh, by Echo Vincent Asifwa, who is a communications director. Now, Mr. Asifwa joins us uh, on the phone. He's a public relations officer for the Ministry of Education. Um, Mr. Asifwa, uh, we've all seen the video, so let's start from what you have been able to decipher so far. Which school is identified in that viral video? Well, Kodjo, let me say a very good afternoon to you and um, to your cherished view. Um, let me say we are just at the preliminary stages of the investigation. Um, the public relations office at the Ministry of Education has written a report to the Minister of Education. And, um, we are hoping that the Minister of Education will also um, refer our report to the Ghana Education Service so that the investigations will be uh, commenced from there. But, I mean, I've been issue, you can see that um, there's something wrong, especially when the Ghana Education Service issued a directive um, just somewhere around this, um, this year that political activities are not supposed to be um, allowed in our various senior high schools. So uh, we are unable to put out names of schools, uh, the particular teacher who is involved. I think that the investigation is supposed to establish all these facts. Uh, Mr. Asif, am I to take it that um, as we're speaking, the, the uh, Ministry of Education has not um, identified the, um, the school that we are looking at on the screen right now? You, you have not been able to identify the school from the video? Well, that's why I said that, that the process to which the investigations will have to 
um, go through has already been triggered. So your so answer will be put... your answer will be that no, you have not yet been able to identify the school from the video, correct? Well, I may know, but I don't want to be the one to put it out because we have. Um, an institution, or let me say an inquiry body that is supposed to do that. So I'm unable to put the school out. All right. Now, uh, educate us on what the law says. Um, uh, political activity is to be kept out of schools, right? Is there a sanction for any individual or school that uh, violates this, um, this rule? Absolutely. There, there, there is um, a sanction that is supposed to be meted out to um, anybody who um, goes about, especially when the person is an employee of the Ghana mm. Education Service, or better so, anybody who allows a non-employee of the Ghana Education Service to also go into the senior high school, to also go and um, embark on political activities. Mm. And so, of course, if you're a first-time offender, then the punitive measures that are supposed to be given, it probably should be a suspension or maybe a warning. Okay. Then, uh, if you're also not a first-time offender and records to the various district or the records at the particular district that this incident actually happened mm. shows that um, you are not a first time offender you have been doing this for some time now and warnings have been given right uh, of course i mean it means that uh, you may um, be on the verge of actually losing your job mm. to defend you may be dismissed okay so we just have to make sure that the right thing is being done at the level of the empire all right now which institution employs free shs ambassadors the point is that there is nothing like free SHS ambassadors that are supposed to go in around senior high schools to campaign in support of the free SHS. Can we, can we yes. get clarity on that? Are you saying there is no such thing as free SHS ambassadors? No, I never said that. I said okay. there are no free SHS ambassadors that have been appointed by the government or the Ghana Education Service to go into our senior high school school and campaign in support of the free senior high school education. All right. So However... However, mm -hmm. uh -huh. in 2017, when we commenced the implementation of the free senior high school education, mm -hmm. there was a young man that we all know by name Ibrahim Atta. Abraham who, Atta. Abraham Atta, mm -hmm. who is a well-known movie actor, mm -hmm. and because of his exploits globally, the Ghana Education Service appointed him or nominated him to be a free status ambassador. Apart from that young man, I do not know of any other ambassador who is supposed to be doing uh, who is supposed to be going through the senior high schools or whatsoever. So to what, call what were the responsibilities of Mr. Abraham Atta as a free SHS ambassador? What, what is his job? What is he supposed to do? Well, uh, because of his tender age, he's supposed, we are supposed to see an icon in him. Mm -hmm. We are supposed to see a mentor in him, especially on the part of uh, young men and women who are yet mm -hmm. to go to senior high school, or especially those who are already in the senior high schools. Mm -hmm. But irrespective of um, where you come from, irrespective of your age, um, you, there's no boundaries that are supposed to be meted out to you. Mm. I mean, you, you, the education is supposed to be a platform for you to be able to get to the higher level. So we expected that it's not just about this country, but, I mean, mm. the global icon that, I mean, our young men and women across Africa have right. to see an icon in him. Now, just to help us understand what you're saying, um, that you wanted him to be ambas an ambassador for the free SHS system, but he is not an SHS student, has never been an SHS student, and will never be an SHS student. So I what didn't was get the, the question. I said, you want Mr. Abraham Atta to be an ambassador of the free SHS system. But he, but he is not an SHS student. He has never been one and will never be one. So, I mean, how can someone who is not a Ghanaian, for example, be an ambassador of Ghana? Abraham so, Atta is not a Ghanaian? But he's not an SHS student. He is not a Ghanaian, did you say? No, I didn't say that. I said, in the same way that you can't have someone who is not a Ghanaian to be an ambassador of Ghana, that's the same way that you, you ought not have someone who is not an SHS student to be an ambassador of free SHS. Well, uh, I don't think that should, that, should, that should be the kind of analogy that you should put out. The, the most important thing is that do we see an icon in the young man, Abraham Atta? Has his global export <coughs> been a case, or can it be a case study for our young men and women who are about getting education? What can our young men and women in this country who are now going to get free senior high school education actually see in him as a mentor? I mean, these are kind of things that I think we should look at. Because at the time, and that we were appointing Abraham Atta to be an ambassador of free assistance. Mm -hmm. Nobody in this country really can say that that person has actually benefited from free senior high school education, the way we are putting it out in this country. Right. Okay. So uh, as we speak, uh, the investigation has not yet begun. Uh, so what you're saying is that you, you haven't identified the school, you haven't identified the speaker 
uh, or any of the officials of that school as yet? What is well, the timeline? I think that we have identified some of them, but officially mm. the Ghana Education Service will come out okay. to uh, masses where brief the public as to what okay. were actually the findings after the investigation mm. uh, were done. Okay, so what, what timelines do we have before us? When do you expect this investigation to be wrapped up? Well, I'm unable to give a specific timeline, but I don't think that these things should actually take long, especially when the structures of the Ghana Education Service is very clear. As soon as we see the region, of course, we'll get down to the district. And we now get to the district disciplinary committee, who is supposed to recommend to the district director, or if you like, the regional director, before it gets to the Ghana Education Service um, director. Mm. So uh, it shouldn't take so much of the time because the structures are already there for us to use. And will, will the, uh, the findings of this investigation be made public? Well, it's, it's, it's not in my ability to say that. I am hoping that the Ghana Education Service will recommend whether we are going to make it public or otherwise. Uh, we've, based on public policy, we feel that uh, we should actually make it public. So be it. But if not, the right punitive measures will have to be uh, meted out to the one who is actually seen to have gone wrong. That is if the video is anything to go by. Right. But you're saying it, there is a possibility that there might be a recommendation that the findings not be made public? It's possible. Is this not a public uh, matter of public interest? Uh, do Who parents public interest? Do, do parents uh, not deserve to know whether or not their school um, has people coming in there to indoctrinate their children um, about um, the, President the, the Ghanaian public will have to decide presidency? whether it is in the interest of the um, Ghanaian public. I mean, I think that if it is out, there's no problem. If it doesn't know out, there's no problem. But the most important thing is that the Ghanaian people have to know that indeed there have been punitive measures that have been meted out to people who are found culpable for this particular act. Okay, Vincent Asifa is the PRO for the Education Ministry. Thank you very much for your time with us this afternoon.